Hey there everyone, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is not going to be a tutorial, but today is going to be more of an informational video. And as you saw in the title, this is going to be testing whether or not mobs spawn or do not spawn on certain blocks. We can liken this to Zoom Avoids, will it spawn? But this is going to be for the Bedrock Edition. So with that, let me show you how this test is going to work. Now in front of us, we have an area that's dark enough to spawn mobs. And along this line of command blocks, we have blocks that mobs are not supposed to spawn on. And we're going to go ahead and go down this line and spawn them in and see whether or not that is still true. Now what prompted me to make this video in the first place was that I had my house and like everyone else, I built my roof out of stairs. And what I noticed, mobs were spawning on top and all chaos broke loose. So I wanted to see what other blocks were still safe or which blocks were not safe anymore. So we're going to come down here, I'm going to switch this to hard, and we're going to watch the mobs spawn or not spawn on the blocks that they were not supposed to spawn on in the first place. I know that's a mouthful, but hopefully that makes sense. And we can already see, I see a baby zombie, spider, another baby zombie, zombie. So that proves that stair blocks are no longer safe from mob spawning. So let's go ahead and test the glass block. Now the glass block was another block that mobs were never supposed to spawn on and that was always a safe one to go to. But let's check and see whether that is still the case or not. Switch it to hard and we can already see a spider spawn. Two spiders. So with that we know that the glass block is no longer safe from mob spawning. So let's go ahead and mark that with a red piece of glass. Next up to bat is our grass path block. And what we can see is that mobs are spawning on the path block. So let's go ahead and mark that with a red piece of glass because it is not safe from mob spawning. Next we want to test our trap doors. That is going to be the iron and the wooden trap door. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Now, just so you guys know, when I do my cutaways, this is what I'm going to be doing the whole time. There's a creeper spawning. That way you guys don't have to see me doing this for every single block that I test. This is just to encourage the spawning, if they're going to spawn. So, there we go. We have mob spawns on the iron trap door and the wooden trap door. So, very safe to say, trap doors are no longer safe from mob spawning. Alright, so we're going to test the carpet now. And from what I understand, the carpet was supposed to be safe from mob spawning as well. Except when we used it in Xbox One Edition for the creeper farm, uh, the carpet didn't work because the spiders were still able to spawn. So let's see what we... What we got one. If we got one, that means we're going to get more. So that is a negative on carpets. Moving on down the line, we have our farmland. So we got that in there, and I gotta do this quick because it all starts drying up. And I'm gonna go ahead and run in there for that one just to make sure that they're not spawning on the dirt itself. So there's one. And he is right... Wow, it's a jockey. Alright. Daddy zombie giving baby zombie a piggyback ride. Well, you can clearly see this is on the farmland. So, we know farmland is a no-go. And there's more. Alright, so our next test is going to be the fence gate. So, let's see what we got. Already we see a creeper and a zombie and a spider just showed up. So, that's going to be a no on the fence gate. And after I've done some other testing, that's also going to be a no on the cobblestone walls and the iron bars because they still spawn just the same. So we're down to a few more blocks. We got redstone lamps, soul sand, ice, water lilies, leaves, and the moment you've all been waiting for, the half slab, which we'll get to at the very end. So it looks like redstone lamps are also going to be a no. That was kind of expected since the mobs did spawn on the glass block. Next we have our soul sand, which I personally didn't know that mobs weren't supposed to spawn, but as we can see here, mobs are definitely spawning 
on soul sand. Now we're gonna test our ice block. This is just regular ice. This is not the packed ice. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes because this is also a transparent block. And seeing how they spawn on redstone, lamps, and glass. Could I be wrong? Ah, uh, nope. We cannot uh, use ice to prevent mob spawning. All right, we are down to our final three blocks. This is gonna be the lily pad. That was weird. Let's try that again. Lily pad. There we go. And set you to hard. Hmm. This is looking like a winner. So some more time has passed, about a minute, and we see we have a slime block bouncing around. So we know mobs are able to spawn, and we have nothing. So, <laughs> all right, so we have our first block that is safe from mob spawning. Next up, we have the leaf block. So some time has passed, and we have no spawns on the leaf block. So, we can go ahead and say that the leaf block is safe from mob spawning. Alright everybody, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The half slab. So let's go ahead and spawn that in. We got our low half slabs just like that. And let's go ahead and set it to hard. And you probably already knew, but it was safe to check. The half slab is still safe from mob spawning. So with that being said, we have three blocks that are safe from mob spawning. We have the lily pad, the leaf block, and our low half slab. And that concludes our testing for today. Just to recap, our blocks that are not safe from mob spawning are going to be our carpet, farmland, path block, redstone lamp, ice, stair block, trap door, glass, and any type of wall. And our safe blocks where mobs won't spawn are going to be our low slabs, our leaf block, and our lily pad. Now I'm aware that there's redstone to test and that's probably going to be a different episode. But I wanted to go over items that we commonly use around our houses or any type of our common builds. So with that I hope this video helps you out. I hope this uh, educated you guys a little bit as I know all this testing educated me. And with that I'll catch you guys next time. Rogue Fox is out. See you later.